On June 7, 2023, the Portland, Oregon City Council approved an ordinance that bans daytime camping within the city. Directed at the homeless population, only one city council member, Carmen Rubio, voted against it. In a 3-1 vote, Mayor Ted Wheeler and Commissioners Dan Ryan and Renee Gonzalez voted in favor. Opposition to the bill was heavily vocalized at the microphone at City Hall by disgruntled Portlanders, while much of the support was from written testimony. Despite the turnout of opposition speakers, the City Council decided, unsurprisingly, not to listen to them. Instead, siding with the business and property owners over the people. How typical. The bourgeois leaders of a city council in a bourgeois liberal democracy decide to side with the bourgeoisie, the capitalists, the landlords, over the people's voice. Over the welfare of human beings. They would much rather protect the property and the welfare of business over that of human beings. What this ordinance does is prohibits homeless individuals from camping on city property, which means any street deemed to be owned by the city of Portland, and as would be in any major U.S. city, which is pretty much anywhere in this city, even public parks, and this ordinance would be in effect from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every single day. Permanent bans on camping in any pedestrian use zone which again is pretty much anywhere in a major city, such as public parks, etc., and would also include city sponsor shelter sites. So if someone, such as one of my friends, can't find a bed for the night because Portland has such a lack of beds caused by a major housing crisis that is caused by high rent and housing costs, those that are forced out onto the streets would essentially be committing a criminal act despite it not even being their fucking fault. Instead, it's the city of Portland, its commissioners, and mayor who hate poor people themselves so much, but not wanting to admit responsibility for their own actions, or should I say inactions, to address the housing problem, and instead passing off blame straight to those they are already causing so much suffering to. Gas heaters are also banned at all times, which is, you know, deadly during these cold Cascadian winters that we can get up here. And those found in violation could receive fines of up to $100, which very obviously many of these people can already not afford, or even up to 30 days in jail. This ordinance essentially gives more power to an already organized and corrupt organization of fascist thugs, which need I remind you, collaborated with the Trump-backed Gestapo goons from the Department of Homeland Security during the Battle of Portland in the wake of the 2020 George Floyd protests. During this time, Portland essentially was turned into a fascist police state, where Portland police were even parking in the parking lot my own apartment complex, like they owned the fucking place. This was, of course, during a time when even the most peaceful gathering could be essentially declared a riot, and thus deemed illegal, leading to clashes between Portland police and protesters. All this will do is give more power to that group of organized fascist thugs who are already on a power trip to further antagonize and militantly harass the homeless with impunity, and to arrest anyone who tries to stop them, interfere, or just plain get in their way. Or if they just choose to just say you did. So thanks, Mayor Wheeler. Thanks, Commissioners Dan Ryan, Renee Gonzalez, and Mingus Pedophile Maps, for legislating Portland further into a police city-state. Might as well rename this place Night City, or some shit. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.